Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing 3CE Blur Water Tints. There are now a total of 11 shades, and I'll be reviewing these 4 shades in this video. Let's start with the packaging. in these smooth and blurred round tubes with frosted looking plastic caps. The applicator is short, dense and angled. While I find it applies the product well, I wish that it picks up more product as I find myself having to dip back multiple times for each application. It has an interesting texture. It is not just watery, but also has a gel-like consistency. Despite that, it still applies thin and clear. The pigment sinks into the lips the moment you apply, and you might feel tingling sensation, or your lips get slightly tightened as it starts to dry. Then, it leaves you with a blurry finish once it is fully dry. It feels less watery and the initial colour payoff is less intense as compared to Wake Make Water Blurring Fixing Tints. It also does not apply as dewy as Cleo Dewy Blur Tint, however, they both feel very lightweight on the lips and have blurred finish. For the transfer test, once it gets fixed on the lips, the stain is very strong even for the light shades. On the hand swatch in the wiping motion though, it comes off due to the fact that there are lesser fine lines for the tint to cling on to, but you can still see the stain is still very apparent. This is the smear test with micellar water and the stain still remains. As much as I love how strong the stain is, it can be drying. Here's how it wears down and stain the lips after about 4 hours. I just went on with my typical half day, so there was talking, smacking of lips, and drinking some water throughout the day. Another weakness could be that it gets a little clumped up when there are base, residual products or saliva on the lips, although not as much as Cleo Dewy Blur Tint. It can easily be fixed by blotting it with tissue. Shall we now move on to the swatches? Spot Player is described as a tempting pink and red cherry colour, which I agree. I really love how vibrant and cool it looks on my skin tone without it being on the neon spectrum. If you are looking for a bright red that has a cool undertone but you are on the warm skin undertone just like me, I highly recommend this. The next shade, Double Wind, is described as a berry wine colour. I love this colour too for how light it is, yet it still gives a calm and moody feel to any look. It can also be a MLBB shade on light medium skin tone when worn in a light layer. Breezeway is the warmest shade I've picked up from this line. It is an orange shade that leans a little towards red. It without a doubt looks good on a warm skin tone and brightens our skin tone. It is also not too bright or yellow, so it can somewhat give a calm vibe without looking dull. Last but not least, Early Hour from Split Second Edition is the latest shade I've picked up after falling in love with this formula. It 
is described as a rosy moth pink. Yes, as you might be thinking and what you could see, it looks very similar to double wind. When I first got it, I also had a hard time differentiating them. However, it is in a warmer undertone and slightly deeper on the lips. I would say this shade is more versatile and works better with a variety of looks because of its undertone. Let's take a look at these four beautiful shades once more before moving on to the shade comparisons. For sports player, I have Wick Make Water Blurring Fixing Tint in number 10, Orchid Bloom, number 2, Oriental Ruby, Peripera Ink The Tattoo in number 4, Sunny Red, and Ink Tint Serum in number 5, Gogo Red. Spot player is less pink as compared to Orchid Bloom and not warm like the rest of the shades. Next for comparison with Double Win, I have Etude Fixing Tint in number 8 Dusty Beige, Cleo Dewy Blur Tint in number 7 Nude Breeze, and Sleepy Tiger from Etude and Music Tiger collaboration. I would say Nude Breeze comes closest to it in terms of the depth, and Double Win is in the cooler spectrum. The comparison that I have for Breeze Way are Cleo Dewy Blur Tint in number 7 Nude Breeze, Wake Make Water Blurring Fixing Tint in number 5 Soft Brick, Roman Glusting Water Tint in number 7 Pink Valley, and Dryful Tiger from Etude and Music Tiger Collection. Breeze Way looks closer to Nude Breeze in terms of the undertone but is deeper looking as Breeze Way leans a little more towards red. The last two shades have glossy finish, although when you wipe off the top layer, the stains are in the similar tones. Lastly, for early hour, what I have are Sleepy Tiger from Etude and Music Tiger Collaboration, Cleo Dewy Blur Tints in number 7, Nude Breeze, and number 1, Toasty Cherry, followed by Roman Glusting Water Tint in number 8, Rose Stream. Again, it looks closest to Nude Breeze and has more mauve or plum in it. It is also not nearly as bright or pink as compared to Toasty Cherry on the lips and has different finish from Sleepy Tiger and Rose Stream. This is all I have for today guys. This watery gel formula is so lightweight that it feels nothing on the lips and has great longevity. Although it can be drying because it has great staining power even for the lighter shades, I still love them so much. I wonder where have I been all these while to have missed out on this product. They are famous for a reason and out of all the blur tints I have tried in the similar formula, this is by far my favourite. Have you guys tried this before or planning to pick these up? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching till the end and I hope that this video was helpful for you. See you in my next video.